I want to do is I want to bring in Shian Chandrasekhar, and we're going to talk about uh, the you know accounting side of this and what he has seen in the past at, at, as, as far as raising of taxes, since he is an expert. And let's just jump in and uh, talk to him. All right. So everybody, so we took a look at what's going on in the uh, current news cycle. And uh, thankfully, uh, our man here, Shihan Chandrasekhar, everybody's favorite accountant, <laughs> as far as cryptocurrency goes, was uh, gracious enough to come on the show and just answer a few questions. Shihan, thanks for coming by. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yet again, my man. Yeah. Yet again, here we are. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, quickly share my screen and uh, just to make sure everybody uh, re a quick recap, tax rates for long-term capital gains. Remember, long-term is over, if you hold, hold everything for a year, then here's, then here's what we have. And then short-term, if you sell before a year, then you're going to pay pretty much just like it is in the uh, normal tax rates, only for Americans, of course. So uh, long-term cap gains, uh, it just depends. You could, you could pay, if, you're, if your filing status is, is single and you make $39,999, then you pay 0% rate on your cap gains. And then it just kind of goes over. But really, if you're looking at it, 15% is up to 441,000, which is a lot. And over that is 20%. Head of household, almost the same thing. Uh, to 469, uh, married filing jointly 496, and marrying filing separately uh, over 248,000. So just keep uh, in mind of that. And if you're all selling it short term, that's pretty much just whatever you make. And the top percentage is 37%, which as we talked about, it's going to probably go up to 39.6 or somewhere around there. And that's only for people who make over you know half a million dollars. So that's a nice little recap. And I brought on Sheehan for a little bit of history and, and he'll talk about that. And then what this all could potentially mean because we have no facts right now. we have no facts and people running around like a chicken with their head cut off. So Sheehan, take it away. Uh, tell us what's really going on or potentially could go on. Yeah, I guess the big news is that, you know, if you look at media like Bloomberg and Tweet Everywhere, everybody's like, okay, your long-term capital gain rate's going to go from 20% to 39.6% uh, plus another 3.8% for net investment yeah. income tax plus 13.3% for people who live in California. So you could literally end up paying, you know, 50, 40, 55% uh, according to what you hear. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's a lot of, you know, unknowns. So let me break down, you know, one by one. So the bidden is, is pretty much proposing that if you make a million dollars, your long-term capital gains rate is going to go from 20% to 39.6%. Mm. So first you had to understand, okay, you had to make a million dollars because if you're making less than a million dollars, there's barely any impact for you. May, there may not even be any impact. Now, I actually wrote an article about this on Forbes and in 2018, uh, IRS received uh, roughly 150 million Form 1040s in you know, individual taxes. Mm -hmm. And among them, only 540,000 people had uh, adjusted gross income mm -hmm. over 1 million. So that means there's less than, you know, 1% of the tax filers who would be subject to that, you know, doubled tax rate if that were to happen again. These are just proposals. Right. So there's just one fight that's going on. Everybody has to pay, you know, 40% tax rate. So that's not going to happen. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're a millionaire, there, there's a, a small likelihood. And number two, we don't know yet how that one million is going to be applied. We don't know if that one million threshold is for taxable income or adjusted gross income. Is it applied per household, per person? We don't know those things yet. Um, so yeah, so those are that's that's what's really happening. And then uh, that's on the long-term capital gain tax side. And for the short-term capital gain tax side, the highest tax rate we have right now is 37%. And Biden is proposing to increase it from 37 to 39.6% for the highest income bracket. And again, 37 to 39.6, it's not a big deal. It's a slight increase, but I guess the people are uh, worrying about this long-term capital gain tax. Yeah. The TLDR here is that if you, if you don't have a million dollars, just don't, don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so we're, so for, if you're less than a million, not a big deal. And then I, I, I was thinking about it because in this, I think in this bull run, we're going to see a lot more millionaires come about as the bull run starts to continue. So the question I have for you was, and, and you explained this to me quite well, I'll do, I have to do it again. If you wanted to cash out $999,999 worth of crypto, would you then be taxed at 20% based on what we know? 
And then maybe at that million threshold, let's say you go, you, you cash out 1 million and $1. So maybe that $1 gets taxed at 40%, but the 999,000 gets taxed at the max of 20%. That's what I was hoping for, but you you had another opinion on that one. So so the answer to that question, you know, depends on what type of capital gains that you're dealing with. And it could be yeah. short term or long term. And again, we are speculating here, so speculating. I don't want to you know spread spread any fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it is you know short term capital gains, uh, that million dollars uh, used to be get get used to used to have uh, the 37% tax rate and now it would be a subject to 39.6, which is not a big deal right. in the grand scheme of things. Right. But the long-term capital gains are, it's not like a progressive tax. So say that if Bitten were to say, again, I want to stress if, Bitten, if this were to pass and if Bitten says everybody whose taxable income is over a million dollars will now be subject to a 39.6% you know, long-term capital gain tax rate, Right. That means that entire one point, you know, one million will be subject to thirty nine point six versus versus twenty percent. Uh, again, I'm speculating here because we don't we, we don't know the actual actual mechanics and, and the specifics. But uh, yeah, well, well, we'll see. So it could go either way. We just don't know. And then that is like like one of the big things. So so maybe it could, maybe it could, maybe it couldn't. But take us back a little on a little time trip, real quick. Talk to us real quick about Janet Yellen. And maybe three or four months ago, when she came out and said, "You know what? We're looking at uh, unrealized tax gains." Yeah, this, this was the other you know tax spot that that we saw in twenty twenty one Q one. So Jenna Yellen came and said, um, "We are considering you know taxing your unrealized gains, meaning those you know appreciated assets which you haven't sell, uh, yeah. haven't sold." Um, yeah, I mean, in the beginning, I was like, okay, this is never going to happen because, you know, first of all, this is going to create so much issues and it's not, there's not an equitable thing. I know right. taxes suck, but then when they introduce <laughs> these laws, you know, they, they, it has to be equitable. So if you were to, you know, introduce, you know, unrealized gain taxes, then you should be able to take the write off for unrealized losses. And if that were to happen, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will have unrealized losses and meaning they can write off things without realizing any losses. And at the end of the day, the government might be losing out. And mm -hmm. the second problem with that approach is that, I mean, you could have unrealized gains, but if, if they're taxing on you, you know, how are you going to come up with cash to, to pay uh, the taxes on the unrealized gains because you haven't sold anything? So those are the two reasons why, you know, that unrealized gain tax, you know, would, would not come. That type of taxing system, you know, does exist if you elect to do so. And, you know, there's these hedge funds and very high net worth individual who can be elected to, uh, you know, be taxed under under less gains. Mm -hmm. But those are edge cases and it's not going to be, it's not going to be like a mainstream tax thing. Uh, in my opinion, yeah. it's not going to happen. So, yeah. And the, the reason I brought this up, because when, once that story broke, people again lost their minds. There was a little bit of a dip in the market. They're like, oh my God, they're going to start to tax us on unrealized tax gains. Meaning if you had, <laughs> if you bought a Bitcoin for 5,000, then it went up to 50,000 and it's just sitting there, you haven't sold it. Like you owe us, uh, you know, $45,000, a little math here, $45,000 right now, even though you haven't sold it. Like what the heck? I can't. And just like Sheehan said, well, if you could do the unrealized tax gains then you can also do unrealized tax losses and guess what's going to happen there? Well, we're probably <laughs> going to win in that situation. So so again, remember, we don't even have the facts right now. And you see everybody just uh, kind of selling, panic selling, because they want to get, you're like, well, I got to sell everything now. And I just don't think that uh, people who have been around the block for, for a bit of time probably are like, you know what, I'll wait it out because uh, I've seen this whole uh, dog and pony show before. The, the, the last question, which I don't know if, if you can answer this, but uh, because, you know, Sheehan with all the different tax laws that, that come about, I mean, you see them, you, you see them all, all come through, but over time, Let's say that they, first of all, let's say this actually gets uh, through uh, the House of Representatives, right? Yeah, okay, sure. And then it, it goes through the Senate and Senate just says, you know what, up and down, straight up and down, we're gonna pass this law. And then, you know, there's a tie break and whatever else and, and it actually goes through. If that, if that law goes through this year, the question I have is, and this is, this is a debate, will they retro it till the very beginning of the year or could it go in effect that day or could it go in effect to like, uh, later on, and that's if they even push this through. That's the big question. Yeah, it, no, it, it's it's highly unlikely they're going to introduce laws that are retroactively affected. Like it, it's 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 very unlikely because it's unfair for the taxpayer and and you know and so many other reasons. If 
something were to happen, it will most likely be effective starting uh, January 1st, 2022. And uh, people will have, you know, okay amount of time to kind of plan their taxes. And if they had to sell stuff, they, they would have time to, to do it before those new laws go into effect. Perfect. So just as my prediction goes, I always said, hey, the bull run is going to run end in, in December. So, hey, <laughs> maybe this will actually push my, my prediction all the way there. All right, Sheehan, hey, man, I know you're busy. This is tax season. If you are looking for a qualified crypto CPA, this is my man, Sheehan. I definitely trust him. If you got a lot of different questions or you want to work with somebody who's like, hey, I got a lot of things, a lot of things going on in cryptocurrency and my business and my personal, reach out to Sheehan. I'm going to link his information in the description below. And that is it. Sheehan, thanks for coming by. We really appreciate it. Any last words of wisdom for everybody who's freaking out? Uh, just, just don't panic and nothing has been finalized and we don't even know the specifics. It's just a proposal. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Sheehan. We appreciate it. All right, let's, see let's you. Jump back. All right so I hope that helped. So um, look, uh, this could uh, take a little bit of time to really sort out. Again, we don't have all the information and uh, I will just say, uh, just, uh, just relax. It's not going to be the end of the world. And like we talked about, who knows what it actually could be. But uh, uh, the final product, I think, is going to be a lot different than what we just heard about. Anyhow, if you like today's video, uh, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. That helps tremendously. Also, consider subscribing. A lot of things to talk about are time sensitive, just like what we talked about today. And that is it for uh, this episode. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.